It is time to recognize that you are living in a genocide. You are living in a nation that mass murders thousands of babies on a daily basis. I am here to educate you about the genocide that you have been ignoring. I'm here to call you to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the solution to the abortion genocide. Jesus Christ is the solution to America's problems. Jesus Christ can set you free from a life of selfishness, a life of sexual immorality. Jesus Christ can set you free from a self-centered mindset that results in the murder of children. America mass murders its babies. America is immersed in perversion and idolatry because America has rejected the God of the Bible. America has rejected the authority of God's word and human opinions are elevated above God's word inside institutions like this one. Many public schools are leading people astray. People are not being taught from a Christian worldview and I'm here to proclaim to you biblical truth so that you can repent of your sin and get right with God today by putting your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the only Savior of those who trust in Him, the only mediator between God and man, the one through whom you can have everlasting life, forgiveness of sin, and a transformed lifestyle, salvation from hell. Jesus Christ, the one who died for sinners on a cross to take the wrath of God that people deserve for their rebellion against God. Jesus Christ, who died as a substitute for wicked people so that wicked people can have everlasting life. So that wicked people can be reconciled to God through faith. Jesus Christ rose from death and he lives in heaven now to be a righteous representative on behalf of those who trust in him. So that all those who put faith in Christ will not end up in the lake of fire like they deserve. But those who reject Jesus Christ will be punished for their sin. Jesus Christ he is only the savior of those who repent. If you don't repent, if you double down in your sin, then you will end up in hell. And I want you to be reconciled to God today. I want you to have everlasting peace with God today. I want you to have everlasting life today. I'm showing you what happens to children when people rebel against God. I'm showing you the practical outworking of rebellion against God that happens in your country. I'm here to educate you about the gospel of Jesus Christ and the abortion genocide. It's time to learn about what is happening in your country. It's time to learn about what the Bible says about what's happening in your country. What does God think about this situation? That's the most important thing we can ask ourselves. Not my opinions, not your opinions, but what does God say? What does God say about this situation? God hates the hands that shed in the blood. God hates murder. God wants us to love our neighbors as ourselves. God wants us to be sexually pure. God wants us to speak up for those who don't have a voice. To love righteousness and justice. That's what God wants from us. But if you don't care about these babies, then don't say that you love God.